Hi guys, it's me Jimmy again. A lot of people wanna argue with me that on a 2 GB of VRAM you can play the modern game, but one thing is already proven you can't. 4 GB of VRAM is the minimum standard. Watch my video, I have included the link in the description box below. 2 GB versus 4 GB versus 8 GB of VRAM you can get the answer in that video now it's about gta 5 if you want to play gta 5 on ultra 4k all max out with sweet fx then you need 14 gigabyte of vram the highest and single gpu card in the market is titan x with 12 gigabyte of vram still you're lacking 2 gigabyte i'm not talking about sli SLI or the crossfire never works so smoothly. I mean, the people are saying me you can just pick 2R90X with 8GB of VRAM and it will become 60GB. The game will, the GTA 5 is already showing some problem on the AMD hardware and then you are putting on a crossfire. No way. And then the sad news is that the upcoming AMD R9390X will only having 8GB. I can be wrong, I think my opinion, my opinion is that the aftermarket card will have 16GB, I mean like currently the AMD R9290X is having the 8GB when it was launched, it was launched only with 4GB, yes the aftermarket card I mean can have 16GB but at least they will charge you, I think maybe 200 bucks for uh, implementing 8GB, that is what is the price ratio of implementing extra 8GB. Let's hope so that the like gigabyte or ASUS I mean, or MSI come up with the AMD R9 390X 16 gigabyte then is a sweet spot to play. But I mean for the best belt is now currently picking Titan X. But one thing is for sure that you take Titan X I mean will be is slower than the upcoming AMD R9 390X and then the AMD R9 390X will only cost you less than 600 bucks compared to Titan X usually costing you around 1000 bucks. Anyways, yeah, GTA 5 requires 14 gigabyte of VRAM. You already know that I played the original uh, GTA 5 on the original one of my on my back in Xbox 360. I mean, I really hate with passion. And in my older video, you can just check it out that I already said GTA 5 is one of the worst game of all time due to it couldn't live up to the expectation but now i think i want to give another try already on a ps4 but i was thinking to give another try on ps4 but i say i'm a 60 frame per second on ps4 not a big deal mm, i just skip now pc now is the time for pc now to be honest with you i'm really sad you buy the ultra graphic i do not own a 4k monitor i was thinking to buy but most of the 4k monitor in my budget are offering tn panel I'm the IPS guy. Anyway, maybe after two years I can afford the IPS 4K monitor, which is costing at least two thousand US dollar. Yeah, I'm thinking to play GTA 5 on my full HD 1080p, full max of setting, and will let you know. But if you want to play on the 4K ultra setting, four gigabyte of VRAM, so stop arguing with me. Try to get with four gigabyte or eight gigabyte of VRAM, you will be much safer. I mean, eight gigabyte VRAM is becoming a standard due to PS4. Eight gigabyte VRAM, Xbox One have eight gigabyte of VRAM. It's me, Jimmy Agik, and make sure to check out my video in the description box below. Buying graphic card VRAM card. It's me, Jimmy Agik. Bye bye.